So taking a quick look at the clutch and flywheel that came on the Wrangler JL and Gladiator JT, which is this one right here, we can see it's totally different than the predecessor, the, the uh, clutch out of the JK. On the newer Jeeps, it's a, a twin disc design that are eight and a half inch diameter. It has a self-adjusting pressure plate and a dual mass flywheel. On the JK, it has a solid flywheel, a more conventional design with a standard uh, 11 inch pressure plate and a spring center disc. Um, but what's interesting, as you can see, it looks, this, these newer Jeep clutches look a lot like these over here. Only the applications are quite a bit different. This is out of a Shelby GT350, and this one's out of a BMW M3. So uh, on these vehicles, you know, they're, they're making uh, well over 500 horsepower and uh, over 400 foot-pounds of torque. So I, I can kind of understand why you would go with a twin disc and this type of design on these high-performance um, you know, high applications. I'm really not sure why they chose this for the Jeep. But we're going to break it down and we're going to, going to evaluate all the components and the materials used and do our testing and we'll share that with you. So follow along and uh, we'll, uh, we'll have some fun.